International. We're here at Fort Duchesne live. I'm Brandon Jones reporting from BTV. And uh, this should be a great matchup with these girls here as Vanderloop throws it in. job to get their hands on balls and, and stealing the balls. That's, that's what they do. As, as it just happens right there, Mancio around with the easy steal and Gavin Vanderhoek will take it down. Good rebound there from number 40. Good drive. She throws it up. No good on that. Looks like it's going to be a jump ball. So it's a Friday. Great day for basketball. Here, watch uh, the Red River Warriors and the American International Dragons in the black. <coughs> Zero. And another good defensive play, you, play by you and a river there. Okay. Gavin Vanderhoop throws it over to Jessen. Back down into Jessen. There she is. She doesn't get it to go. That first play, people were on the floor. Almost another jump ball, but gets it out to Vanderhoop. Vanderhoop goes in for the lay and misses all the way. And American gets the rebound and takes it back down the floor. Sorry, just having a few technical issues with the sound, but I think we're okay now. As American tries to get it inside, good penetration. See if she can get that one more. She does, she gets it into number 40. Toffa, Toffa is short on that, but she gets fouled. Yeah. So we missed the, the starting lineups of this game, um, but it's gonna be a great one. Uh, for the Dragons, we have Afton at number five, Claire, zero, zero. Izzy, number 11, Taffa, number 10, Perla, number 44, and that's the starting lineups for American and for your starting lineup, the Una River Warriors, Gavin Vanderhoot, number two, Chris Shawnee McCurk, number three, Kenna Teague, number zero, Jessen Vanderhoot, number 10, and Adia Spoonhunter, number five. As McCook. Gets the good 20 footer there. Four to zero. Talk about some keys to the game for you and a river. Number one, stay aggressive for four quarters. You know, sometimes they have the ability to start out strong and then kind of get a big lead and they uh, go down a little bit and play and just Olson, Janine Olson, their coach, says that they just have to stay with four quarters playing the same mentality, the same intensity and that's their goal. And then take care of the ball. They have, a, sometimes they have the ability to turn it over a lot and they want to cut those turnovers in half and not and just take care of the ball. A good defensive trap right there at half court on American. Izzy loses it at the top but throws it over to 44, Perla. 
Perla down to Taffa. Taffa's double team trapped again. You can see every time that they're getting on the other side of the court that Ewan River is coming with that double team, trying to force a bad pass or a bad shot. As American does a good job, kicks it out to the top of the key, resets, and get a foul call on Gavin, Gavin Vanderhoop. And that's going to be her first. Good entry pass there. I think they're going to get a travel. Yep. Travel on that play. So on the American side, Americans, their keys to the game is to own the paint, rebound, and score at the rim. So they want to be get inside to Taffa and, and, their, and their other um, other girls to, to get aggressive and to crash the boards. And uh, also number two, slow down play of the Warriors. Stay in front of the defense. Um, so yeah, Warriors, they, they get they get going and they don't stop. So you gotta you gotta get into them. You gotta get into them on defense. And every time that they shoot a shot up, they want to send three girls back so that they don't get any transition. So right now, six to zero and a steal. What the Warriors are so good at is just stealing the ball. They always just seem to get their hands in the right places. And uh, Vanderhoop takes it the other way and then gets fouled. Number four checks in for the Dragons, Kirsten. So Taffa and Kirsten, they're just, they're just have really big height in there, and that's what they want to do. They want to they want to get inside to where those easy buckets are, and get rebounds. As Vanderhoop drives in, takes the shot. American rebounds and brings the ball down. Number 11 almost loses it. Throws it out to Perla, Perla. To Claire. Oh, and a big block by McCook. Deshaunia McCook gets a good block. All ball right there. And American has still had a lot of troubles just trying to get the ball in and score. And that's what these guys do well. The, the Warriors, they, they just are so stifling on defense and it's hard to get a shot up. It really is. As uh, Adia Spoonhunter comes in to run point. Gavin drives in. Tries to get the layup with the left hand. Gets fouled on the play. Really good play by her. And uh, really good sponsor, L&L. We are here for you and your service and sales needs. One-stop shop for new wheels and tires. Personalized accessories for your new or used vehicle. And we find you the best financing option, banks and credit unions. Come visit your L&L. Need a new car? Need a used car? Go to L&L. I'm, I'm needing a new car soon. <laughs> As American starts another possession here. Good pass, good shot. Adia, yeah, yeah, throws it down to the right-handed reverse layup of Deshaunia McCook. And she shows you what she can do. 9-0. Oh, and that was a good shot by uh, Izzy. Driving in to the, almost the elbow of the free throw line, taking it there. And that's what they need to do. They need to get it inside. They need to keep just passing it around and then finally just getting that penetration pass to see if something can open up. 
Warriors get a shot off and it doesn't go. Let's see if Izzy can get in that paint again. Is 44 with the Florida. Perla tries to get it. Kicks it back out, resets. They're just not looking at all in the interior and that's where their strengths are. They're big tall girls right there in the paint. Can't get it to them as Adia goes to the hoop. Misses it but pass, pass to Gavin. So Vander Hoop, she can't find it either. Goes down to America and America's underneath and it goes. Number five with her first two points. Afton. As you'll watch you and a river work it around trying to get the best shot available. Spoon Hunter looks to drive and then kicks it back out to Gavin Vanderhoop. American comes back down the floor. Perla, um, short on the layup, but the putback is put in by number four, Kirsten. And that, that's what you need to do. I mean, they need to use their height, and that was a really good offensive rebound by Kirsten. The Warriors take a shot and miss. Good pressure on defense right there, full court. Seeing if they can take away the ball. And there's a backcourt violation, and the Warriors do a good job on that possession of, of pressing American into a turnover. As a shot at the buzzer, and Vanderhoop is no good. Pretty good first half, actually, I mean first quarter, nine to six, three point game, it was nine zero. A, a big scoring, you know, uh, for American. And we're gonna go to a commercial and we'll be right back for the second quarter. At Strata Networks, we believe that today's children are tomorrow's future. Each year, we award nearly $50,000 in scholarships to graduating seniors. Sponsor a group of juniors to attend the URIA Youth Leadership Challenge at Snow College. And send a group of students to explore Washington, D.C. as part of the FRS Youth Tour. This year, one of those students could be you. Apply now for scholarships and youth programs at stratanetworks.com. Founded in 1946 by the Savage family with a single truck, today Savage is the leader in supply chain management solutions that are tailored to meet the needs of our customers across a variety of industries. We are a proud sponsor of high school sports coverage and the community here in the Uinta Basin. back here in Fort Duchesne watching the UNA River girls against American International. Start of the second quarter. First quarter started out a little bit slow for American. They couldn't get anything to go in the rim. And uh, in the last two minutes, they really got stuff going. And, and what they did is they went to the inside like, like their keys to the game. They, should, they, they just needed to do it a little bit earlier. We apologize about the clock on on the camera is just not working right now. So I will be mentioning the clock regularly to, to let you know how much is on the time. As there's seven minutes and 47 seconds right now. Mia Sarawap is in trouble right there. Gets it to her girl on the other side though, Spoon Hunter. Back to Spoon Hunter, Spoon Hunter over to Sarawap. There's a shot by Spoon Hunter. Rebounded by the Warriors and turnover. So really that's like you and a river's first turnover. And they want to cut those down, they said, and that's what they want to work on. But they've only got one in this first first half, and so that's pretty good. Izzy 
met by Spoon Hunter right at half court. See if she can push her over the line again. Good job by American, get it across. That is just stifling defense by the Warriors. It looks like there's seven players out there. Oh, and number five, she gets the put back. Afton, that's just being alert. What comes off the rim, put it back up in. And American takes the lead, 10-9. Six, six minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. Perla. See what Perla, she had, oh, it's a great pass. That is a great pass to number five, Afton. Afton scores again. And what seemed to not happen at all in the first quarter with American getting inside, now they're getting it to their big girls in the inside and taking advantage as Yuena tries to do the same thing but doesn't get it to go. There's a jump ball. Good defensive play there by Deshaunya McCook. So not a whole lot of times that this girls um, Uinta River team is in trouble. And you know, mostly they have huge leads. They're doing so well in this league this year. I think they've only lost once. And so to be pressured like this right at the beginning uh, by American is a little bit new for them. We'll see how they handle this. As a travel is called on American. And so, you know, the defense is just what's really going to be there for you all the time. Sometimes your shots don't go in, but your defense should always be there. And you can see that with the Warriors right now. That's what they're trying to do is just keep in the game with the defense. Good move around. Good block there by American. Another good block by Kirsten. And Perla gets in trouble but throws it over to 0-0. Zero, zero. No good on the shot. Claire tries to put it up, but oh my goodness. They rebound again. Kirsten misses at the rim. As Vanderhoop drives strong to the lane and she gets it. Let's see if that puts some energy in this you and a River Warrior team that is just mostly just unstoppable. And look at that defensive play by Deshonia. Deshonia shows you that she can, she can really play. Very aware on defense, scrappy defender. Good sportsmanship right there, shaking hands. Perla has it on the right side, gets in trouble, throws it to Izzy. Izzy, good handles, good pass. I'm not sure if that was a shot or a pass, but we'll take it as a pass. That's an assist to Kirsten. Yeah, it looks like the, there's an equipment timeout right there. Let's tie our shoe. But now the Americans really into it, getting in their interior offense. Good penetration. Three possessions in a row. 14-11 with four minutes and 42 seconds till half. McCook over to, back to McCook. To Vanderhoop. Top court passing down to Jessen. And Jessen Vanderhoop gets fouled and she'll go to the line. A really good ball movement. Moon Lake Electric. In operation since 1938, owned by the people they serve, Moon Lake is a cooperative, non privately owned, providing power to the area since 1938. And the free throws go down. So last time when I was here, the Warriors, they played New Haven, and that is one of the struggles that they had, is that they weren't great on the free throw line, and they wanted to work 
through that for the last couple weeks, and it looks like they have, and it's paid off. It's 12 to 14. Good defense again by the Warriors, trying to stop American as they get a three second call on Taffa. And that's what can happen sometimes when you just throw it around at the top. Um, <laughs> The girls at the bottom were getting impatient, wanting, calling for the ball, and that's how you get a three-second call. Just stay in that key too long. As Mia Sarawap has it to the top, throws it to Vanderhoop, to McCook, down to Jessen, and Jessen's long on that shot. That travel right away after American gets the ball back. Janine Olson is the coach for the Ewan River Warriors. You can just tell that the fundamentals of this team have, have, have been different this year. They're so, so well coached, and you can tell by what you see on the floor. First year coach for her. She's from Roosevelt. Her husband, Holland, is a good friend of mine. As Mia Sarawap shoots it. Oh, there, look at that steal by Gavin Vanderhoop. And then a good assist to number three, Krishani McCook. So 14-14, tie ball game, three minutes, 14 seconds. Another turnover by American. We're running. And it's McCook, Deshonia McCook with the layup. And American's coach has had enough of that. And she'll call a timeout, maybe just get a little bit of rest for her girls. And, you know, they had this under control. They were doing really well. Good timeout. Kind of got to let it, got away from them for a little bit. And uh, we're going to take a timeout with them as well. Since 1933, the 7-Eleven Ranch Restaurant has been committed to serving ranch-style home cooking made fresh from scratch every day. Over the past 85 years, we've been an active part of the community, supporting local events and basin athletes. And now, we invite you to join us in a celebration 85 years in the making. Stop in today for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Be sure to like us on Facebook for limited time promotions as we celebrate 85 years of serving you. The 7-Eleven Ranch Restaurant, 77 East Main, Downtown Vernal. And we are back here at Uina River in Fort Duchesne. And this score is 16 to 14, three minutes and seven on the clock. And that was a really good timeout by the coach of American, you know, just to get some re-intensity in the group. Had a few turnovers and want to get back on track to where they were. <laughs> As number two comes up and it's an illegal screen from Lauren. It looks like they had something drawn up there. Vanderhoop dribbles the ball. See what kind of movement that we can get on the underneath and see if they can screen for Jessen in an opening. Got to get it down into her. As they try to go to Jessen and it goes off her hands and out of bounds. Turnover. And that's probably, that's number two turnover for the Warriors. As Izzy comes up the floor. As he throws it over to Claire. Claire gets in trouble, gets it ripped out of her hands, and off to the races is McCook. And McCook can't put it in, and no, and the other shot's not good either. And it's going right back to American. American doing a really good job on defense of not letting you in a river get anything that they want. 
especially underneath. And it's kind of new for, you know, the Warriors who just expect for those shots to go in and fall. But I tell you what, their defense doesn't fall. As a great floater by number 11, Izzy tries to put it in. Shonya, McCook throws it over to Vanderhoop. The Spoon Hunter back to McCook. To Sarah up. And you can see Jessen is in there. Hey, just throw it into me. But she really, she needs to put a body in. And there she goes. She got it. She got finally got that pass into her. And that will give her some big confidence because a couple of those shots have just been in and out for her. Another illegal screen by number five. That's her second, Afton. I think that's the second foul on her anyway. Nope, the first. So American, man, they do have a lot of height. You know, Kirsten and Taffa, Lauren, good height. Spoon Hunter, you know, they, they've, America's done a really good job of slowing this game down. I haven't seen the Warriors just kind of go in this slow half-court offense in quite a while as Kirsten rips down the rebound and it forces another Warriors miss. Izzy over to Perla, back to Claire. Claire with the shot, but a good block by Mia Sarawap. Jessen's looking for help. Good defense there by American. Sarawap, see if they can get it down in the post again. They shoot a three instead. See if they can get a rebound. They do, Mia Sarawap kicks it back out. They reset, they try to go back into Jessen. She was open, it just was a little bit off on that pass. As American gets it in the inside and it falls in Afton with a big shot. 22 seconds left in the half. 18 to 16, two point game. And the Warriors are ahead. Good pass, good interior pass. She's just covered completely though. They have, I mean that's a double team, almost triple team. There's gotta be someone else open. They know that they want her to, to get to Jessen. And it's two on the clock and then a foul. Oh, and a turnover on American. Two, two seconds is on the clock. We'll see what the Warriors can get done in two seconds. It's gonna be a three quarter shot. Let's see if she can get it. She does, she throws it up, and it gets to the other three-point line. And that is your half. I mean, that was a good play by both teams. You know, good defense by both teams. You know, you and a river are struggling on the offensive end a little bit, and uh, I'm pretty sure that's what Janine will talk to him in the half, is like, you know, our shots will go down. They'll just keep shooting. Um, Americans doing a great job on defense. They, they have got to be going in the half feeling good about how they're playing and how on the heels you and a river is. And so we're gonna go to halftime and we'll come back for a second second half. It's gonna be an exciting one.
there was a tradition in wrestling with this board that when people wrestle us, we want them to remember how tired and how hard we wrestled them so that they maybe don't ever forget that, whether they won or lost. Stansgard, head coach at UN High School, uh, wrestled at Fargo South, two-time state champion. I was NDSU two-time All-American at North Dakota State University. Uh, uh, placed several times in the Greco division and uh, done quite well in the uh, three-time qualifier for the Olympic and World Games. And now I'm here, a head coach here, and uh, trying to make men out of the boys. My name is Philip Ketty, assistant wrestling coach here at UNA High School. Uh, graduated from UNA High School, went on to wrestle at the University of Iowa. Um, Three-time All-American there, and then continued to wrestle internationally for another five years, and moved back home to coach at my alma mater. All right, there's going to be times where you're going to have to find ways to run it out and win close matches, and I think we're doing a lot better than that. Uh, for me, it's more like there's history, but there's what we can do now and that's pretty much all I think about yeah there's going to be some some tradition there and that can kind of get us uh, a lot of maybe people to wrestle and that can help get us kids to come out and wrestle but you know the future is all that really matters so uh, yeah the legacy helps bring the kids out but it's up to us to continue to do that yes. They learn how to be responsible, accountable, hardworking fathers, husbands, workers, employees, business owners. You know, I think that wrestling is one of those sports where it's a sport that truly doesn't lie in your results. Uh, it will be honest based on the work you're putting into it. That's what you're going to get out of it. And when you start to do that and see the success that you can have from hard work, I think that really carries over into some life attributes. So for me, I want Number one, them to realize that this is going to build character for the rest of your life and how you treat things, approach things, and how you learn to not just um, take what you get, but more go get what you want. says something about you know your preparedness for moving on to the next level and really it's just an opportunity and that's how these kids have to look at it it's an opportunity for them to uh, get better number one but also prove and show uh, their talent level what they what they train to do you got to be strong you got to be fast and you got to have a gas tank that's so deep that you you can't be broken yeah it's exciting to get on there and just rest so and know that I kind of have a target on my back. Stay focused or else your mind will start wandering and start psyching yourself out. Sit 
I'm Amanda Hartman, I'm the new director of nursing here at the Villa. Here at the Villa, it's far more than a nurse-patient relationship. You truly are like a family. We have a community here, we have neighborhoods within our community, and we create lasting relationships that mirror that of our own families. We're kind of just one big family because we're their sole providers, and we spend a lot of time with each and every resident. Even our rehab patients are here for months at a time, so we really create a family-like environment with them also. Some of the most important diagnostic tools in medicine today are in the radiology department. At Ashley Regional Medical Center, there are many modalities to choose from. CAT scans, nuclear medicine, MRI, 4D ultrasound, digital mammography, bone density scanning, and a totally digital format. The technicians at Ashley Regional are highly trained and are well known for their great customer service skills. If you need an x-ray of any kind, ask your physician to send you to Ashley Regional Medical Center for quality results. We're greedy. We want to win it all. We want to be the best. We've got to be strong. You've got to be fast. And you've got to have a gas tank that's so deep that you, you can't be broken. Right, we are back here in Fort Duchesne for the second half. It was an exciting first half. First quarter started out a little bit slow. American couldn't even get the ball up. It was nine to zero. And then the last two minutes of that first quarter, they came rolling back and uh, eventually tied the game in the second quarter. It was just up and down competitive. And I expect the third quarter to be the same Having fun here, Brandon Jones, VTV. If you guys aren't watching, you don't love basketball. Good shot by Claire. Just falls out though. Oh no, <laughs> she, it looked like she was almost gonna shoot the ball on the wrong side and uh, figure that out. Travel. 18 to 16, seven minutes and 41 seconds. Good defensive play by Amer by uh, Uena, and sh she turns the ball over. So they, that's why they call number 10 Jessen Vanderhoop skyscraper. Because when she puts that hand up, she's almost got her hands on the top of the net there. She's got some length to her. She can rebound with the best of them. As she gets that rebound, that offensive rebound, as I'm talking about her, no good on the shot. But Vanderhoop gets a hand on it, gets to Sarah Wap. Only one thing I want to see is like Jessen, she needs to get a little bit more aggressive underneath there in the paint. Get in front of that number five. Try to try to just call for the ball. She's kind of looking and she gets it. I mean, like it, she gets it seamlessly, but she gets fouled there. It's 
looked like she might have got injured on that a little bit to the ribs. Speaking of injuries, the best place for to go for when you catch your injuries is Ashley Regional Medical Center. This is a level four trauma center. This means there is dedicated trauma team with extensive training to assist with trauma cases in the ER. Ashley Regional Medical Center. As Jessen gets both free throws to go in. And it's a four point lead for the Warriors. And a timeout. They're saying it's a 30 second timeout. So we'll stay here and talk about American and the Warriors for a little bit. Good game, six minutes and 57 seconds left. Four points in the third quarter. So six minutes and 57 seconds in the third quarter. And uh, we're talking about some of these sponsors, that great sponsors that here at VTV that, that help us out so much. And uh, Savage, the Savage family founded the company in 1946 with a single truck hauling coal and timber in Utah. Today, they are a leader in supply chain management solutions that are tailored to meet the needs of our customers across the variety of industries, including electric power generation, coal production, oil refining, railroad, chemical, oil field, and downhole service with other industries. So America tries to get it down the court, and she's, a, he's a, she's harassed by Deshanya McCook. And harassed enough to turn the ball over. You know, one of the things that they talked about in halftime, they want to speed things up. They want to make American guard them in transition. And that's where they're best at. And, and just uh, you can see that their defense is so good. And they put on a little bit of a press here, a little half-court press, to see if they could turn the ball over on American, and they do two possessions in a row. Passed in to Sarawap. Sarawap, 4-2. <laughs> it's just in and out. And that's just been how it's been for the Warriors tonight, or today, I should say. It's still sunlight out there. American in trouble again, trying to get it to an open person, but stifling defense as Mia Sarawap gets the open layup with the pressure defense. 22 to 16, six point lead for the Warriors. Just under five, under six minutes to play. A foul and one. by Gavin Vanderhoop. And so uh, definitely what's been addressed in the locker room is that Olsen, Janine Olsen felt like if she could get pressure on American that they would turn the ball over and that they would be able to steal it. And they did. Jessen with the offensive rebound. Jessen Vanderhoop gets the offensive rebound and puts it in. 26-16, and that's an early timeout for American. And uh, we're going to take a timeout with them as well. Founded in 19 went to Basin. At Strata Networks, we believe that today's children are tomorrow's future. Each year, we award nearly $50,000 in scholarships to graduating seniors, sponsor a group of juniors to attend the URIA Youth Leadership Challenge at Snow College, and send a group of students to explore Washington, D.C. as part of the FRS Youth Tour. This year, 
one of those students could be you. Apply now for scholarships and youth programs at stratanetworks.com. And we are back. Five minutes and 50 seconds to play. An American has the ball. You know, that was a good timeout by American. This, the lead blew to 10 from four right at half. You know, Warriors came out firing. An American, all had to do is call a timeout and kind of figure out what they need to do to get back in this game as they throw it to Izzy at the top, down to Claire. Claire seeing if she can get it inside to Kirsten, but just another great defensive play by the Warriors. American tries to get it in and it's intercepted there by Sarawap. Sarawap down to Deshonia McCook. McCook is wide open with the easy lay in. The lead is 12. As they push Claire to that side, Izzy throws it to the opposite side. Good ball movement. They needed to throw an interior pass right there. They had a wide open Kirsten and it didn't see her. And they turned the ball over. So what the Warriors have done so well of not turning the ball over, the American needs to work on turning the ball over. They already have close to 12. As the Warriors put up a shot and it's no good. And a travel is called on the American. And Una Rivers really vamped up the defense right at the start of this first half and have pretty much gotten a takeaway on almost every minute. As Deshonia McCook throws it down to Sarawap. Sarawap looks underneath, kicks it back out to Gavin Vanderhoof. Vanderhoof for three. Short. McCook. And no good as well. And they're on, she's on the floor, gets it kicked back out. It's a good job by Jessen. To, to Sarawap for three. So Mio Sarawap is the first one to get a three-pointer in this game for both teams. And we'll see if that takes the lid off the hoop for the Warriors who have struggled to get it in there. Even though they have a big lead, it just hasn't been their offensive game. See if that gets them into it. Merrick can make some substitutions as well as the Warriors. Penetration there and kick back out. Again, I'd like to just see Jessen just to get a little bit more aggressive down underneath. And call for that ball. Deshonia McCook throws it to the top to Gavin and she's fouled on the drive. Bring in some substitutions. Number 22, Sayla, comes in for American as Claire checks out. Lauren gets that rebound. Izzy takes down the floor. She's her best ball handler. And she does a good job of not losing it. They need to keep it in her hands. If I'm the coach of the other side, I'm going to say, uh, let's just keep it in Izzy's hand. Make sure she's not double teamed. Deshonia McCook checks out. She's had an outstanding game in this first half and the first half of the third quarter. So three minutes and 19 seconds. As Sayla gets her, <laughs> she gathers and Mia Sarrow up. Oh, no, actually Jessen. Vanderhoop is on the ground working for the ball. And they give it to American.
see what kind of play that they can do here. They need to get back to what they're good at. Get inside, get Izzy, and Cl you know, uh, Perla does a good job of carrying the ball as well. But I think Izzy is their best offensive player that needs to get it to the inside people. Checking in is number 32, January Murray for a UNO River. Seeing her first action today. As Jessen comes to the top, throws it over to Adia, back to Jessen. Jessen with a good shot. That looked good from where I was at the whole way. I mean, what a great shot. Kept her hand up there, followed through, just how you want to see it and do it. Izzy at the top of the key, tries to drive in. Good defense by, <laughs> really good defense by Gavin Vanderhoof, takes it away. Maybe took an extra step on that, but they don't call it, and she shoots the ball and gets it. 35 to 16. The Warriors starting to pull away with two minutes and 10 seconds left in the third quarter. And that's a foul on January. And they count the basket, they do. So two points for Taffa, and it has a chance and an opportunity to get one more. Ute Tribal Enterprises. Ute Tribal Enterprises is proud to sponsor VTV's live coverage of Uinta Basin High School basketball. Offering the best services to our customers, Come bowl, shop, eat, or gas up with us today. Find us and follow us on Facebook or visit our website for more information at www.utelic.com. I'm not a very good bowler, but it's really fun. I've been there with my family. Good experience. Full of gutter balls. It's Vanderhoop, throws it to Audia Spoon Hunter. Spoon Hunter to Jessen Vanderhoop and she airballs it, but Vanderhoop gets the own rebound and ooh. Vanderhoop again with the shot, no good. As Adia Spoon Hunter shoots the three and it is off the mark. And that's gonna be a costly turnover for American. Good hustle play there by American as well. Just missed the pass on there and Claire couldn't get to it. Minute 22 seconds. Is Janique Murray enters the game, number 25. Good pass there by Vanderhoop, back to Jess and Vanderhoop, a three second call though in the key. And that will go to American. So American, they just need to reestablish the paint is what I see again. They need to get it to their inside people and, and just let them go. the coach, you know, from American, they can really build on that first half that they had against the Warriors and feel really good about that. But then they just, like, you know, the keys of the game for Janine Olsen for the Warriors was play four consecutive quarters the same. And, you know, that's one thing that American needs to work on as well, is playing that same intensity, that same workload every, every quarter. As Spoon Hunter crosses over, gets to the other side, decides to change it up, go out to Jess and Vanderhoop, back to Adia. She'll reset and throw it into number four. And that's Aubrey Silva that's on the court. So you're seeing a lot of new faces out there right now with the lead being that the way it is. And Jess and Vanderhoop with a really big shot right there. 
39 to 19. Whoa, that almost went. Claire from deep, almost hit the buzzer, hits one, hits the back iron. So Warriors pulling away from this thing. We have eight minutes of basketball left. We will see you for that eight minutes in the fourth quarter. Since 1933, the 7-Eleven Ranch Restaurant has been committed to serving ranch-style home cooking made fresh from scratch every day. Over the past 85 years, we've been an active part of the community, supporting local events and Basin athletes. And now, we invite you to join us in a celebration 85 years in the making. Stop in today for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Be sure to like us on Facebook for limited time promotions as we celebrate 85 years of serving you. The 7-Eleven Ranch Restaurant, 77 East Main, Downtown Bernal. And we're back here for the fourth quarter. You and a river, Warriors against the American Dragons, American International. So eight minutes to play. As Americans still in their, in their huddle and you can just see some teaching and some coaching moments. As they're like, don't get too down on yourself. Just do the things you need to do. Work on the fundamentals. We'll get, you know, one coming up. Just do better on the next play. Let's play defense. Let's get the ball back. As the Warriors are content to just kick it around and they get a shot there by Jess and Vanderhoop. Claire brings it down the floor. On another good defensive play by the Warriors. She leads pass to Spoon Hunter. Spoon Hunter with one hand puts it in. Beautiful play. Claire kicks it over to 35. She puts it up. That's her first time in the game as human. Adia resets, goes to Vanderhoop. Jessen takes the shot. Offensive rebound on the other side. Janique Murray for two. Another three by Claire. She's so close on that shot. That's two of them in the last minute, and she's just so close. Good rebounding there by American. Still rebounding. That's three offensive rebounds by number five. Afton, relentless. Puts it back in. Vanderhoop to Silva. So Aubrey Silva throws it in to Jessen. Good defense there by American. Causing trouble for Vanderhoek, but again, two points for uh, Janique Murray. Perla to Claire. And how I said with Jessen underneath, how she needs to get in front of her guy. The same thing on this end, Kirsten and Lauren, they need to like push, push into their defender and, and just call for the ball. As Perla steals it, good steal. Was gonna take a shot or pass it, just kicks it back out to reset. And there's the shot by Claire and it's a three. So the Third time's the charm for Claire, her third three-point attempt, and she gets it to go. That's a two. Oh, they call it a two. I'm in a very distant place here, and I can't see on that corner. <laughs> but 
but I'd give it to her. So Justin Vanderhoop throws it over to Spoon Hunter. Spoon Hunter back to Silva. And there's that number 25 again, puts the shot up. This time it doesn't go. Claire will clear. Perla has the ball at the top. Claire, see if she can shoot it again. She throws it over to the other side of the court. Perla back to Claire. Claire shoots it. And that's a two. Two consecutive shots for Claire. That was a three. My bad, that was a three. So there's her three. Fourth time's a charm. <laughs> I'll get it right, I just. Looks like the ball goes out of bounds. Three minutes and 52 seconds left. 45 to 26. So a pretty good run by American on in the last three minutes. Playing good basketball. Getting a couple shots to go. But also playing within themselves. Not doing anything too hard or difficult. Just getting shots that they know that they can put up and make. American tries to get the ball in, they do. They put it in the inside, a good shot, but no good. Try to rebound it, but she steps on the inline. So there's gonna be a lot of substitutions coming in on the next dead ball for Una River. Like a hockey line change. Four or five of them gonna check in. As Perla gets the rebound and she takes off down the court. Crosses over, back to Izzy, to Claire. Claire, no good. Spoon Hunter drives in to Silva. Spoon Hunter with the three. So Yaha, Yaya nails the three. That's her nickname, Yaya. The teams all have, the, the team for Una River, both boys and girls have nicknames. And that's pretty cool. Like I said, with Jess and Vanderhoop's site skyscraper, I wonder how she has that nickname. She skies for rebounds. And here's that timeout for the Warriors. Can be a quick timeout. We'll talk about some sponsors. 7-Eleven Ranch is proud to sponsor VTV6 live coverage of Uinta Basin High School basketball. Next time you're in Vernal, stop by for the best food in the basin. So stay tuned. We have the, the boys game for, um, with Uinta River versus American International as well going to be a, a really good hyped up game. A couple weeks ago they played here again because American International doesn't have the, an, their own home floor. So I think this will be a home game for the Uinta River Warriors and the last one was an away game even though it was played here. And man, Capelli Sarawap, he went off in that last game with over 30 points against American in the win. So American is coming here for some revenge to get back the loss that they had a couple weeks ago. As Claire throws it in to the interior, tries to get it to her, looks like she tried to get into Kirsten and, and couldn't get it to there. So it goes out of bounds. Two minutes and 23 seconds left in this game. As Gavin Vanderhoop throws it in. Claire, American with the steal and the turnover there. Claire tries to get it over the timeline. Deshoni McCook, pesky defender, trying to get over the timeline before that 10 seconds they do into Izzy's hands. Izzy drives crossover shot, but big opportunity there for an offensive rebound for Kirsten as she puts it in.
33 checks in for Una River when she gets an offensive rebound and gets it to go in. Number 33, Lloydy Arachis. And not only does she get in in the fourth quarter, but gets it in in, in style with the and one. Speaking of style, is L&L Motors. One stop shop for new wheels and tires, personalized accessories for new or used vehicles, and we find you the best financing options. Gavin Vanderhoop for two. Does not fall, but Izzy takes it down the court, throws it to Claire, back to Izzy. Izzy, again, that crossover to the left, kicks it out to an open number three. She tries to drive into Kirsten. Oh, that was a good interior pass, but Kirsten just couldn't connect on it. Gavin Vanderhoot, she turns on the wheels and goes the distance. So Gavin Vanderhoot, she gets fouled on that play. The clock is not running, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> Oh, there's, there we go. They're starting to fix the clock here. As I'll get the scores corrected and before she hits the free throw, we'll talk about another sponsor. Strata Networks is proud to help bring you the coverage of local sports. Enjoy reliable coverage and unbeatable speeds from the company that brings you more local cell sites than any other carrier nationwide 4G LTE coverage and the latest in smartphones and mobile devices. So I believe there was about two minutes and 28 seconds left on the clock. Uh, they still haven't got it corrected on the scores up on the board, but we have it right. It's 50 to 28. And we will continue play as Gavin Vanderhoop at the line. <laughs> Drills it. And, you know, Janine Olsen said that they wanted to work on some things in this game, and free throws was one of them, and they've done a really good job except for that one that I just cursed her on. But they get the offensive rebound. Krishani. Deshonia, McCook for the two, I think it was a two, yes. And that was a good shot by Deshonia McCook. And she's had a great game, especially on the defensive end today. Kirsten puts it up, oh, just off the rim, no good. Kirsten doing a good job underneath for American all night long as a pass is put in to Kenna Teague. Kenna Teague had one of the greatest games that she's had in her, I think she's a freshman, but she had a great game against Leighton Christian a couple weeks ago, putting up 26 points. And that's the first time I've seen her. So this game is gonna go to 58-528. The Uinta River Warriors are gonna win it over American International. And, you know, both teams played really well, especially in the first half. American has a lot to be proud of. And uh, Una River Warriors, they struggled. And uh, they got it done in the second half. Please tune, tune in for the next game with the boys. Uh, versus, you know, it's American International and Una River Boys is going to be a really good one. Very competitive game. Uh, last, last time they met, matched up. Una River got the win, so you know that Americans wanting to come in here and, and battle back and get the one they lost. So please tune in. I'm Brandon Jones from VTV. We'll get this started probably in the 15, 20 minutes or so. We will be back here.